Last night, the congressional baseball game went on just as planned, one day after gunmen opened fire on Republicans. Dozens of lawmakers from both parties took the field. Jan Crawford was at the game and has more from an emotional night in Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. The night began with a bipartisan moment of reflection and a standing ovation for a surprise guest, one of the heroes of Wednesday's shooting, Special Agent David Bailey. A moving moment that gave lawmakers like Mo Brooks, who escaped the attack unharmed, a chance to say thanks. What was it like tonight when you saw Officer Bailey? Uh, I was compelled to go over there and, and give him a hug and let him know how much I appreciated uh, what he did, the courage that he showed. You know, I might not be here speaking uh, to you tonight, uh, but for what he did. President Trump sent his daughter Ivanka and a message that aired in the outfield before the game. By playing tonight, you are showing the world that we will not be intimidated by threats, acts of violence, or assaults on our democracy. Lawmakers from both parties wore Louisiana State University ball caps in honor of their wounded colleague, Congressman Steve Scalise. Steve would want nothing more than to make sure this game was played. He was one of the most passionate guys about, about this game. Congressional leaders try to set a bipartisan example, standing on the field together before the game and calling for a friendlier tone. There are not enough relationship building exercises between Republicans and Democrats. We've got, we got more work to do on that. I thought you were going to brag about how much my grandchildren are your that, big That's fans. right, yeah. Lawmakers also agreed about the quality of play they expected on the field. It's kind of a running joke. There's some members who take it more seriously than others. There certainly were some errors, but clutch plays by Democrats led to a blowout. The final score, 11 to 2. But for the players, this game was bigger than the score. Uh, this carries over into the halls of Congress, and that's how you get to know one another, and hopefully that's how the vitriol ends. The game raised more than a million dollars for charity. The congressman that was shot, Louisiana Representative Steve Scalise, is still recovering in the hospital.